Hi, we are here at the International Roofing Expo, and I have I have here with me Matt Bofali from Dupont. Welcome, Matt. Thank you very much. So we're going to be talking about a little bit uh, uh, about the collaboration between Dupont and U.S. Steel for our coastal loom. So first, first of all, tell us about yourself. Um, okay. Um, so I've been with Dupont for the last 19 years, all commercial roles. Um, I currently lead the uh, commercial organization for Dupont Tedla, one of the Dupont businesses. Cool, cool. And uh, share us a little bit about Dupont and really your interest in this roofing kind of industry. Yeah, absolutely. I, I think Dupont is 200 plus year old American giant. Uh, like your company, right? Um, and um, we have been in uh, the DuPont Tedlar business since 1960s. When we started uh, with airlines, uh, the inside of the aircraft has a lot of Tedlar. Mm -hmm. It's a protective film. And uh, we went from there to photovoltaics industry, to automotive, to uh, many other aspects of building and construction, including wall covering. Uh, metal roofing, um, and um, that that's that's basically uh, the the you know long history of, of Tedlar uh, in a nutshell. Okay, and you guys are now with us, kind of getting here in the US in this marketing construction in the roofing side, which is something that you guys do quite a bit in other places. Uh, why now uh, in the US? Because we have been in building and construction industry with Ted Lawyer since 1960s. And we have been in metal roofing, metal panels, and exterior metal uh, structures since 1980s in all over the world, mainly Japan and, and Western Europe. Um, and we have this partnership with Nippon Steel, for example. Uh, they've been using Ted Lawyer for a decade. Um, the reason why we, we could not introduced Tesla in metal roofing uh, was due to capacities. Uh, we were a little too uh, aggressive and successful <laughs> in the uh, 70s, 80s, 90s, and we ran out of capacity. So we, we were not able to introduce Tesla in the U.S. in industries on outside of what we usually play in. Mm -hmm. uh, fast forward to 2020s, now we have additional capacity. We, you know, invested in a new plant. And uh, when we started looking at partnerships, how to replicate those good partnerships or decades of partnerships, the first company that, that came, to our, um, you know, came to our minds is USD Lockers. All right. So we're going to talk a little bit more about that. But before that, can you tell us about your booth? Right beside our booth here, there's yeah. the Tadler booth. Yeah. With DuPont and besides the best coffee around, what you guys are showing there? Yeah. You have the best coffee. <laughs> um, so, first of all, lovely to have our bones together right next to each other. And we're both uh, promoting postal men uh, in our booths. Uh, so, we, we wanted to uh, focus mostly on postal men in, in this show. Uh, we also did it at MetalCon, uh, first show that we introduced uh, postal men together. And now we, our, our supply chain and, uh, you know, route to market is we are ready, right? In this show, that, that's, mm -hmm. the, that's the message. We, we have places where we carry them. Uh, we have uh, actual samples of the material that you can touch and, and play with. Uh, we have the distributed supply chain partners established. So that's basically our, our focus area and our booth at IRE this year. Perfect. And talk a little bit about that collaboration, how that collaboration between U.S. Steel and DuPont started and uh, to develop and end up in this coastal room new broadband. Absolutely. I think it was a couple of years ago uh, we met uh, one of your key members um, at a show uh, and we have been on metal roofing for some time the last three, four years. Uh, but mostly on um, alternative materials, not steel. Mm -hmm. um, and the conversation started, of course, you, you have the best brand name in steel industry. 
conversation started, then we, we started to learn about how you play, where you play, how you position your materials uh, in, in roofing industry. That led into uh, this also partnership. I think the chemistry and the uh, company culture was so similar. It was an, 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 an easy click. Um, and uh, everything, as you know, moved so over that. So, okay, so Matt, how does the integration of the U.S. steel galvalum metal coils with DuPont tethering enhance the product's performance? Yeah, so uh, Tedlar uh, enables coastal warrants. Uh, because of the, the durability of Tedlar, it withstands harsh uh, environments, um, exterior um, impacts for many years, decades. So our warranties for Tedlar are up to uh, 40, 50 years on the coast. Um, so how we achieve that is because of the UV resistance, uh, no color fades. Uh, how we achieve that is because of uh, Tedlar's um, flexibility. Due to that flexibility, uh, we, we have excellent T-band, zero T-band possibilities. Uh, so there's a lot of design options. Mm. Um, and also, uh, because of how Tedlar performs on the coast, um, you don't need to have maintenance on Tedlar. Like with PVDF and other uh, paint solutions, you have to have uh, fresh water for rinse. Yeah. For Tedlar, you don't have. It increases the durability too, right? Not only the flexibility that you mentioned, that the yeah. paint sometimes has even some not visible but small cracks. Yeah, they could, uh, and Tedlar won't have those. Right? Well, absolutely, absolutely. Because it, it's, a, it's a continuous film and it, it covers the. Yeah. And the, the part that I think I like very much about the product is really the UV resistance that you mentioned because that color fading over time, it really, you lose the, the appeal of the, 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 you can lose some of the appeal well, when you have that, but uh, when the color stays the same over years and years, that's, that's really something different than it's out there. So let me, let me tell you a story about uh, the color fade resistance. Uh, from our good partners, Nippon Steel, they, they visited us earlier uh, this well, past summer, uh, and they showed us a picture um, of one of the buildings that they applied to Ted Longwood. And one of the um, salesperson, uh, he brought a freshly produced, brand new produced film and put it right next to the wall. Which is 40 years old. old. And you can't tell the difference. It's it exactly the same color. That's okay. And it's like you, you love seeing these from your customers. Yeah. So it's, it's one thing when you yeah. promote this or show pictures. It's another thing when, when they show it to you. <laughs> so talking about color, what's your favorite color for a roof? Oh, my favorite colors are um, rather lighter colors like blue. Um, you know, uh, lighter colors, but mostly like, you know, white, blue, those kind of, uh, color spectrum. But I know the most popular colors right now are, are black, the dark, uh, yes, <laughs> and darker colors. So about sustainability, can we discuss a little bit about sustainability, Tedlar and Coastal Room? Absolutely. I mean, as, as you know, better than me, uh, your product has the best uh, sustainability and uh, recyclability. Uh, what Tedlar brings is duration of the building. Uh, we extend the life of the rattle. Right? So we extend the life of the roof to 40, 50 years. So you don't have to replace the place of them. So that, that's our, our biggest story. We've been talking about sustainability. Yep. Exactly. That the contribution to, um, you know, is, is it you know, sustainable environment? Hey, it is a big deal, right? You stay there for longer periods of time. You're, gonna, you're not going to need to re-roof. You don't need to. And if you do a shingles, you're probably going to re-roof three, four times before you need to touch a metal roof. Yeah. Right? So those, all those shingles are going to, to landfills and so what. And uh, our metal still there and protect with Galvalon. Galvalon protected with Tether. We stay there even longer now with the same color. Yeah, the same color. <laughs> What has been the industry response to Coastal Loop since we launched last year? 
Oh, great response. Uh, I mean, we did not only talk to your uh, good partners, downstream uh, customers, but I was with a Luffy last week. Uh, we were role forming post alone, and they love how it feels. They, they love that it doesn't look anything different than a paint solution. Uh, they, they love the um, processability uh, of the material um, and the colors. We, we have all, we have 30 colors, and the top selling colors are readily available in inventory, short wait time. So the response has been great. We already have um, finished projects, mm -hmm. and uh, we even, uh, you know, DuPont uh, properties and plants are reaching out to me and then asking for the, the roofs to really done. <laughs> as, as you know, we, 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 you know yes. we're working on one project right now. Uh, so the response has been great. Um, and I think I haven't heard any downside, Negatives. To, yep. uh, any, any, any shortcomings, the fiddlers. I think we were able to answer a lot of those uh, doubts that was in the market, right? About, oh, uh, will the film come out? Will the, no, is the paint better? So all those questions, I think, it's out of the way, and we are ready to to take off. Right, ready to take off. And, and it's database, right? The, these are like we 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 are not answering these questions with theoretical, uh, you know, concepts. Right. We have forty years of data. Mm -hmm. but we have been in the market for so long that we have all the data available, and uh, you know, it's it's right in front of us, so we could touch and feel. Uh, and uh, replicate this data with, with current product. Uh, Absolutely. So, so how do you say Coast to Room aligns with DuPont vision and, and future strategy? So uh, our main strategy for the future is to partner uh, with companies alike, um, companies who have similar cultures, similar products, similar values, similar sustainability stories um, to, you know, go to market together uh, and bring new solutions. Uh, we keep innovating. DuPont is a company. We keep innovating. And although Tedlar has been in the market since 1960s, we have had many different solutions and we keep coming with, with new solutions. So that's basically our strategy to, to partner uh, with uh similar iconic companies like like your company uh and go to market to get and you know there is no arrested for the weekend right so what's next what are we gonna do next absolutely absolutely we keep asking that question ourselves um so with coastal only two months after we introduced coastal now we introduced what we call the repair tape we didn't pick a commercial name yet we call it repair tape internally. Um, so this is basically uh, when you have a scratch or your roof or when a panel uh, is, is damaged, you can, uh, th there's a self, uh, uh, the uh, you know, peel and, and stick tape uh, where it can be used in on the field very easily. And we, we tested it many times mm -hmm. with, with roofers. So we came up with, with that solution. Uh, that can also be applied to cut edges, cutting edges, uh, to, to protect uh, if need be. Um, and uh, we, we keep innovating. Uh, we, we are now working with a company who can print on Tedlar, a reverse printing on Tedlar. Uh, and also we, we're working on metallics uh, color. So these, these are all the new things that... So we can make that a wall with a US2 logo printed on it and just uh, within the tablet app. So talking about 2024, what's your expect, uh, expectation for this year? How you see the market in develop, the market development? So uh, I think 2024 is going to be a uh, rebound in building a construction industry from 2023. Um, Last year, because of high inflation rates and interest rates uh, being up in like double digits, um, the building and construction industry had some um, slowdown, some sluggish demand. Uh, we see a pickup in, in demand and interest and activity. Uh, I think it will be a good rebound uh, from uh, the you know a, a sluggish demand from last year 
and uh, we see a great year for Postal. Uh, we, we are, this is our top focus here this year for Ted Lot of Business. No, so um, we, with all the projects that we have globally, uh, th this is our top priority. So we expect 2024 to be successful. Right now, all the orders that, that we have received give us a lot of both. Uh, we started the year strong, January was strong, uh, first quarter looks great, uh, and the remainder of the year, uh, awesome. We were expecting great, a great year. Great, great. So, Mark, Matt, Matt, thank you very much. Or if there's anything you want to close with or any other message you want to send out, we love this partnership. Uh, we thank you for a, a collaborative 12, 18 months that we worked together. Everything worked really fast and effective. Uh, and we look forward to many more years of this partnership. Awesome. Thank you, Matt. Thank you very much. Thank you.